everyone, I'm Leslie from whatsupnw.com and I'm here today on Camino Island with Explore Washington State for the 20th anniversary of the Camino Island Studio Tour. We have been all around the island, we have met artists, we've been to galleries, it has been amazing and it is a beautiful day outside today, it's the perfect Pacific Northwest day. So 20 years ago, there was three galleries in the area. One was in Stanwood, one was Mid-Island, Camino Island, and my business partner and I, Jack Hunter, and I owned a gallery on the south end. And so we talked about doing a gallery walk, but we realized that we were so spread out that it's not like in a city where you can do a gallery walk. So we asked artist friends of ours to open up their studios that were in between our galleries. So it was more of a progressive tour. And it was so popular that other artists said, are you going to do it next year? Or if you do, we want to be a part of it. So we decided to do it again. And this time we had even more studios. But instead of having it like a progressive tour, then we just, you could start anywhere. And we formed the Camino Arts Association. And here it is 20 years later with, I think, 34, 37 venues to visit. Um, two weekends now. And it's been great. In 2002, I bought this 10 acres with the goal of making a sculpture park, a gallery, and a place to live. So I live above the art gallery. And I just wanted a place you could come for inside and outside art. So when I started, this was all raw land. It was um, densely forested. And the first thing I had to do was um, clear paths. And it took me about um, four years of working over here off and on and then in 2007 I started on the building and in 2008 I opened and 
Even now, I'm still adding new parts to the park all the time. There's over a hundred sculptures showing here. Uh, that changes throughout the year. Inside the gallery, I change the shows in there every six weeks. Um, I do a, a large annual art auction here. It's always in September and ends with a live auction in October. We do stone carving workshops, painting workshops, um, raku events, music. So it's, it's a variety of things that go on here. All right, we are here right now at Camino Island State Park, and let me tell you, this is a great place to have a picnic. There are a lot of people here out having a picnic, going on their boats, flying kites. Well guys, we are here at artist John Ebner's house. He is a watercolor artist, and clearly his backyard inspires him. This, what this guy has done with this landscape, I want him at my house right now, mm -hmm. and I want him to put it all together for me. So I think I'm just gonna hire him. I don't know, he seemed kind of busy. Well, let's go explore the garden. I studied advertising art, D didn't really care for it, asked one of my teachers what it would be like if we did uh, fine art, like for galleries. And uh, he said, no, you'd, you'd starve to death doing that. We don't want to do that. So I went into other things. But uh, I took up watercolors as a hobby. And, uh, and I just loved it. And um, I've been painting as a hobby for about 20 years and then went into it full time for the last 20 years. We moved up here and then all of a sudden we decided to put this tour together and uh, it seems like it was just yesterday but uh, first year we had a few people. This year we figure about 7,000 people come to the island, fill up all the restaurants and people love going to artist studios, talking to them, finding out how they do things and uh, just touring their their gardens and seeing how they do their work. My wife and I both love gardening and um, it's kind of a hobby for us. Uh, she likes all the flowers. I like lawn and, and simplicity. So we, uh, we worked together real well. And it was a work in progress, kind of like a blank canvas when we started. So what's nice about Camino Island is there is no ferry. You can drive directly onto the island. It's about an hour and 15 minutes north of Seattle, about 45 minutes south of Bellingham. There's fun events that go on throughout the year on Camino, uh, lots of music festivals. Um, in the summer, there's Art by the Bay. There's other craft shows that are um, pop up. So there's always something to do on Camino Island. Mm -hmm. 